Now we're going to talk about Escalation 1. And again, Escalation 1 is a misconfiguration in the template itself. Uh, primarily, the misconfiguration is that it allows the enrollee to supply a subject alternate name. That's the SAN. Uh, typically, this is used for generating and issuing uh, SSL certificates that are valid on more than one host or domain. But what an attacker can do with that is supply something like a user principal name, a UPN, for any account that they want and retrieve a certificate from it. Uh, so long as the certificate allows authentication, the attacker has the ability to enroll and it doesn't require manager, manager approval, then the attacker can exploit escalation one. Okay, so on the administrative side, what does this vulnerable template look like? Well, you can see here uh, with that little red arrow in the subject name field for the template configuration, uh, supply and request was enabled. And when you do this, you'll actually get a security warning, a little pop-up saying that this could have security consequences. It doesn't say that you're opening up a giant hole, but it does warn you about it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and exploit Escalation 1. OK, so first what we're going to do here is go ahead and request the certificate templates. Again, any domain user can request these templates. And then we're going to go ahead and review them, see if any of them are vulnerable to Escalation 1. So as you can see here, the test user uh, template has the enrollee supplies subject set to true, that's the SAN. And on top of that, any domain user is able to enroll. So let's go ahead and enroll. Uh, but this time, what we're going to do is we're going to set a UPN in the request for the administrator account. As you can see, we got a certificate. Uh, that contains a certificate that's valid for the administrator user, and we can use that certificate to authenticate and obtain the NTLM hash for the administrator account. And from there, we can do anything. We can pass the hash, for example, and impersonate the administrator user. 